Good morning, everyone. Spring has sprung, it would appear. I'm always happy to be on outside yard supervision when it's sunny and warm, although being outside this year when it was cold and blustery was okay too. The sun soaks into the skin, which is just what we need after a long, difficult winter. Spring fever breaks out in the kids too. They love playing outside rather than sitting in their desks. Everyone from school needs the next few days off to rest and rejuvenate so we can finish up the school year. Let's hope that things look up soon. April 22nd is Earth Day, so we are going to label the month of April as Earth Month. I watched a very disturbing documentary with Shannon called Sea Spiracy. It makes me realize that we are not doing enough to help our precious Earth or the creatures who live on it. Humans are making a mess of our home and we need to do everything we can to make it right before it's out of our hands. I guess one thing we can do is plant seeds. Pam was getting all the seed packages out this weekend, so it's time to get planting. Think of all that extra oxygen that will be released in your house from the new little seedlings. I think after that, we should pick up some garbage. What do you think? Friday, April 16th is an exciting day. After many virtual rehearsals and lots of technical troubleshooting and creating, the Knights and Fern and I will be joining Siloam United Church and Friends in our production called In the Big Inning. We are happy that some of you have booked tickets and we extend the invitation once again. If you need help, just let Fern know. You will see how musicals take place during a pandemic. Pam was speaking with Grant, Moira's son, and Moira has been released from Midland Hospital and is at Allendale Station Retirement Home in Barrie, room 227. She will be here until a permanent location can be found for her maybe even Sarah Vista. We should send out extra prayers for Moira and others who are recovering from illness, procedures, and surgeries. Please everyone, don't forget about signing up for our FunScript fundraising campaign. You can order gift cards and use them in place of money to buy groceries, gas, and other everyday necessities, as well as gifts. These businesses will then forward a percentage of your purchase to St. John's. I think it is a pretty easy way to fundraise for our church with no more than our weekly expenditures as the cost. Please contact us if you need assistance with the setup. Happy birthday wishes go out to Ross and Parker tomorrow. I hear that this might be a birthday that's a multiple of 10 and seven for Ross. That's my inner math teacher coming out in me. Happy birthday on the 12th to Isabel and my little brother, Greg. Happy 100th birthday to Eleanor on the 14th. Amazing. And happy birthday to my little sister, Karen on the 15th. April is a busy birthday month with many fantastic Tauruses celebrating. Happy special day to you all. Have a great week.